The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I have a high school called BCA. Troubled girls. Girls have gone through a lot of trauma, a lot of stuff. In, in ninth grade, in, in, in the first year, 10 years ago, that we opened up the high school. So all the girls that came to our high school were, at, were off the street. They were all kicked out of school. It's not like, oh, I'll switch from my school to your school. No, we don't have a September in my school. As you get kicked out, you come to my school. We get girls in December, we get them in January, we get them in February, we get them all year round. There's no September, it doesn't exist. They gotta go to school to get kicked out of school to get to my school. This girl did amazing. And she went to Eretz Yisrael and she flipped. And she became very from. And got married, wears a shaitel, snua, her husband is learning. Like, like the, the dream of my school. She's the dream of my school. Five years, no, six years after she was in my school, which is four years ago, I get a phone call one day. On a Friday, this girl is crying like a baby, whimpering. I'm like, what happened? I thought she had a fight with her husband. What happened? She says, I was in Glotmart in Brooklyn, shop Friday morning, shopping with her little baby in her carriage, with her shape, the whole works. And the, the principal that threw me out was there. Could you imagine? The one that threw her out. This is a very special girl who doesn't have any bad feelings towards that principal. I was doing something really bad. They caught me. They threw me out. She always said, I'm not, I don't hold a grudge, but they should have let me back. They should have thrown me out for two weeks and take me back. They didn't take her back. I got her a year and a half later. She was on the street for a year and a half before I got her. So she said, it wasn't fear that he didn't take her. Whatever. Fine. Now, closure. She's going to go to this principal and say, Baruch Hashem. Look how I turned out. Happy, not, not in your face. Not in your face. Happy. So I'm going to make up a name. She walks up to the principal and says, Hi, do you recognize me? And the principal says, No. And she says, We well, can't recognize everyone you ever had in your school. And she says, Do you know my name? He says, No. She says, You know, my name is Malky Schwartzberg. Shaitel, dressed, snua, girl. This is, this is her moment. This is the moment you do all the work for. Because even though we do it for ourselves, we like when someone says like, wow, look what you turned into, right? Like I, when I saw Rabbi Stern tonight, like, wow, you're proud of, you know, they want to hear that. They want to they hear that you're proud of them. So my name is Malky Schwartzberg. He goes, no, you're not. She goes, no, my name is Malky Schwartzberg. She goes, you're Yehud, that's her older sister. Don't try to play games with me. She goes, I'm not Yehudas, I'm Alki. He says, no, you're not. Turns around and walks out. Destroyed her. How could you be Malki? I threw you out. You're in the street of Zaynas. How could you be with a shape? No, I can't be wrong. I made a decision. I didn't accept you. You're not accepted. You're different. If, if I admit that you're who you are, then I made a mistake. But I don't make mistakes. So she was broken. And I said, you don't do it for him. You did it for Hashem and for you. And Hashem knows exactly what your name is. And he knows you're not hurt your sister. And you have to stop caring about when people make judgments. Because when they do, by they're trying to kill you. And you can't let them kill you. The only person that could let you, someone kill you is yourself. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org.